Next question is, is it okay to do Thratak meditation on a dot that is nine feet away? Probably this question is from somebody who has been practicing with the Thratak technique. For those who do not know what Thratak meditation is, in simple words, you concentrate and bring all your attention to one spot, one object, and from there on move into meditation. So what this meditator who has asked this question needs to very clearly understand is the process of, um, of concentration meditations such as Thratak. What really happens um, in this process um, when you bring all your attention, all your energy, all your consciousness to one single point why are you doing that you're not doing that to uh, you know to just <laughs> to just look at that object in more detail rather this object is is secondary it's not the primary purpose of what you're doing what happens in this process is that when you've concentrated all your attention on a particular object there comes a point where suddenly your concentrated consciousness and attention jumps from that object to yourself. So in that state, that object becomes secondary. You almost um, forget about that object. That object becomes irrelevant and you suddenly start to see everything about yourself. And this is a very explosive powerful way of um, experiencing oneself for those who cannot imagine um, and cannot do imagination techniques or cannot um, do things such as bhakti yoga where you need to feel a lot and, and be a person who uh, who can surrender who can let go Thratak is uh, is a powerful technique and now to the question can you concentrate on a dot that is nine feet away i don't think there is any norm or any specific distance that is necessary for the thratak technique uh, if you can concentrate on an object that is nine feet away well you need to have a good eyesight for that um, but otherwise it's all fine um, as long as this works for you try it out look at the peak behind me I was sitting for a few minutes and trying to concentrate on the peak uh, in fact trying to do Trataka and yeah it was uh, for me um, a similar experience as I would have if I would put a candle at an arm's length in front of me so you should try Trataka not only on objects that are right in front of you but also at objects that are at a distance and see if there is a difference why there is a difference and my hope is that you would come to the same conclusion as me important is that you can bring all your attention to a single point whether this is near you or further away for those who would like to learn how to do Thratak and other meditation techniques fitting to your style of meditation and your psychology what you can do is you can try out the meditation easy app it has 30 different techniques which are not just based on concentration but are based on other movements in your consciousness it could be feeling it could be imagination and so on so try it out uh, the app is called meditation easy don't worry the the program to try out the program is free so take a look and if you find it useful let me know and if you have any questions also i will be happy to answer those regarding meditation easy or your general practice around meditation